During this time of year, it is so common for those cards to just pile up and it can be so overwhelming. Well, Lizzie Post is here to tell us when it is okay to finally toss those cards. Welcome, Lizzie. Hi, thanks for having me today. Well, you open your mail and you see these beautiful cards and oh, the whole family's in matching sweaters with the dog <laughs> in front of a, you know, here in Arizona, in front of some cacti. And you have a lot of emotions about throwing those away. So are you supposed to keep them for a certain amount of time? No, this is really one of those where it's up to you. They are typically meant to be disposable items. These don't have to be cherished keepsakes. However, if any particular card um, strikes your fancy or is particularly memorable for some reason, those are the cards that we might put away um, either in a file or a scrapbook or something, you know, those projects that we deal with later. <laughs> I know I still have a few from last year on my fridge and some from two to three years ago on my fridge because those folks didn't send cards the following two years. It's like there is no rhyme or reason. Whatever works for you is really what's going to be the right choice. <laughs> However, Lizzie, I also note when I've fallen yeah. off somebody's Christmas card list. Right? <laughs> you know. You're like, hmm. you, hmm. you notice what doesn't arrive that year. And it's really easy to take that moment and either judge yourself or judge the other person. But the truth is the holidays can be hectic for all kinds of years. And that list might not have gone out. People might have needed to consolidate for economical reasons. There's a lot of different things other than I didn't want to send to you that could be the reason. So try not to take it too personally. <laughs> I like to internalize everything. I know what this means. You guys barely liked me enough the first year and now um, I'm off your list. If you do want to keep a few of the cherished cards, do you have suggestions for what to do with them? My folks actually have a tradition in our family of they put them in the very uh, end of a, a photo album. So they'll do books for a particular year. And then the very end of the album is a few of the Christmas cards that they decided to save. And I've got to say, going back now, looking at the 40 plus years <laughs> that they have albums for. It's um, it's really special to see those over the years and see kids grow up and things like that. <laughs> it's hard to know which ones to keep. I notice if somebody writes a personal note, yes. I, I feel mm -hmm. worse throwing it away. How do you select <laughs> which are the keepers? It might be uh, based on the person who sent it. It might be that this is a particularly poignant or sentimental version of it this particular year, maybe because someone got married or had a baby, maybe because we're recognizing a little bit of loss. There could be all kinds of things that make it sentimental for you. I'm a big fan of keeping the ones that were very clearly handmade, whether that be from a five-year-old or a 50-year-old. Um, I think those, they have a little bit more effort. Those are the ones that tug at my heartstrings and make it hard to go into the recycling bin. Lizzie, <laughs> I'm right there with you. When my kids used to make me crafts and cards on the yeah. table. They're not artsy <laughs> kids, but I would still feel Cute. really bad. And then I wouldn't throw them out in the inside trash can. I would take them out to the outside trash bin so nobody would be the wisest. So no one would see. Another solution is to take pictures of everything and keep a folder that's kind of your collection of these things and it's also great for art projects. <laughs> that's a great idea. Now on the flip side, if you've sent a card, should yeah. you be offended if they threw your card out or it didn't make the cut? I, I want to say no. My advice would be no. We can't control other people's emotions. So if you feel that rising up, if you maybe you noticed your sister threw out your card, you know, try to just remind yourself this is normal. People do go through these things. They aren't supposed to be time treasured keepsakes, you know. <laughs> Lizzie, you just gave me a great idea. You could actually write on the card, happy holidays, and, <laughs> okay. and please feel free to throw away this card. <laughs> it's done its job. And God bless. I love that. I love that. It's like with a sympathy note, you can write no acknowledgement necessary. Yes. This is like, okay to toss after a week. Go for it. <laughs> Lizzie, thank you so much. Before we let you go, where can we find more information about the Emily Post Institute? Oh, definitely visit us at emilypost.com or sign up for our Substack, Emily Post Etiquette. Thank you so much. Thank you.